The Team Tech incinerator type GS500C is designed for onboard incineration of ship's waste oil and solid refuse and consists of five main parts. Combustion chamber with air-cooled steel jacket, feeding sluice, diesel oil burner, sludge equipment, control panel. The combustion chamber has two circular chambers with a connecting opening. The combustion chamber is equipped with an inspection door and an ash door, which can be opened only while the incinerator is not burning. The combustion chamber has an insulation layer and a high-quality refractory lining, taking temperatures up to as high as 1,500 degrees centigrade. The flue gas outlet is located at the top of the secondary chamber for the most efficient combustion. The suction from the flue gas fan creates a negative pressure in the combustion chamber. This suction also draws ambient air through the steel jacket in order to cool the incinerator. This cooling air is diluted with a hot flue gas from the incinerator in order to keep the flue gases at temperatures lower than 350 degrees centigrade. The rotating sluice mounted on the top of the combustion chamber has a big feeding door and a large volume, enabling it to take full-sized sacks of 100 liters. The trash falls into the chamber and is ignited by radiant heat from the burner in the secondary chamber. The diesel oil burner has two stages and has an additional steam air atomizing sludge nozzle. The burner features an air fan and diesel oil pump driven by the same electric motor, two diesel oil nozzles controlled by solenoid valves, a photoresistor monitoring the flame, a three-stage air damper unit, a sludge nozzle, a diesel oil pressure switch, a diesel oil heater with thermostat. The incinerator is equipped with an automatic sludge dosage unit, regulating the sludge oil into the combustion chamber. The sludge dosage unit features a frequency-controlled, electrically driven dosage pump, isolating valves, a steam pneumatic-operated pilot valve, a solenoid valve for control of sludge atomizing, a manually regulated valve for steam air atomizing, pressure switches for monitoring steam and sludge, pressure gauges for steam and sludge. The electric control panel controls the incineration process. The basic controlling unit is a PLC unit mounted inside a cabinet. For the crew operating the incinerator, the E300 operator panel shows the basic parameters for the incineration process. The operator panel allows you to select a burner mode, display running conditions like temperatures, chamber pressure, oil consumption, and timers, set variables such as temperatures and timers, acknowledge alarms and access alarm information. The purpose of the one-stage centrifugal fan is transportation of the flue gas from the combustion chamber and out through the exhaust pipe. The flue gas fan is comprised of a fan housing, a bearing stand, an electric motor, a V-belt transmission, a thermocouple with transmitter. The flue gas damper unit is mounted in the flue gas ductwork between the incinerator and the flue gas fan. The purpose of this unit is to adjust the flow in the duct and to keep the negative pressure in the combustion chamber at the correct level. The damper unit is of butterfly design and is driven by an electric motor controlled from the control panel. The sludge oil tank is a daily service tank for the incinerator. The purpose of the tank is as follows. To heat and settle the sludge oil. To drain water. Mix the sludge water solution. The sludge tank features a heating element, a thermostat, level switches, a circulating pump, a remote-operated quick-closing valve, check valves for sludge level and water content, a sludge pressure-regulating valve, flanges for filling, draining, vent, and overflow, a thermometer. The purpose of the diesel oil tank is to serve as a service tank for the incinerator with suction and return line. The tank is normally filled by the ship's diesel oil transfer pump. The DO tank features a high-level switch, a level indicator, 
flanges for venting, filling, and overflow. A remote-operated quick-closing valve, suction and return lines to burner. The incinerator has three main piping systems, diesel oil supply and return line. The maximum suction height from the tank to the diesel oil burner is 3.5 meters. If installed on a higher level than the incinerator, the inlet pressure to the diesel oil burner is limited to 1.0 bar. A diesel filter shall normally be installed in the suction line. The sludge ring line supplies heated sludge to the incinerator. The sludge line must be insulated and heat traced. The oil pressure at incinerator must be 0.4 bar. Flue gas pipe. The flue gas damper must be installed between the incinerator and the fan. Expansion compensators must be installed in the exhaust pipe normally at inlet and outlet of the fan.